welcome back guys as you guys know i like the internet of things for some stuff particularly outlets and switches these are my favorite ones these are from etech city i've been using their products for a little over a year now disclaimer they did send these to me for free but i'm already using their products in my house anyway i find them to be pretty darn decent at what they do i think they're reliable we'll go ahead and get a look at them maybe try them out i'll show you guys why i like them Okay, let's take a quick look at these. This is how the packages come. Nothing crazy, nice nondescript, kind of feels like recycled uh, cardboard. Feels good actually. The standard outlet, I like it. It's clean. It's got the power button on the side on this one. My other one has it on the front. I guess that makes sense in this form factor. Nothing to it. Some instructions, which we hardly need. The setup of these is super easy. And the other box for the outlet. This is a bit more involved because obviously you have to be somewhat, you should be an electrician to install these truthfully. Check your local laws around here. You have to be, but ah, everybody does it. We all know we've changed these. so. Pretty simple. We've got our ground, our line, our load, and a neutral. Not much to it. If you don't know what those are, don't touch this. Pay somebody to put it in for you. Nice faceplate. I like it. Must be a capacitive touch. This is not a moving button. Yeah, it must be capacitive for the manual. So that's pretty cool. So we can go by the Wi-Fi uh, from our phone or the Alexa or whatever, Google Home, or we can manually operate it. So pretty slick protective coating on it oh it does come with people call these wire nuts marrets all kinds of names for them comes with them nothing to it should be pretty easy install i like it i really like it actually we'll give it a try okay once you've got the v-sync app set up and you just follow the instructions to connect to your outlet which is basically just a quick connect and then input your wi-fi credentials you'll get a dashboard like this this is my existing light that I had for a very long time. You've seen it in the studio before. It's behind uh, my backdrop where I film. This turns it on and off and I can do so with the Alexa as well. You can create a schedule. This will tell me what energy I'm using, if any. And this should be using some watts. And there we go, 32 watts. Just takes a second. If we back up, we can take a look. There's my kitchen light. That's upstairs. That's the, the outlet or the, uh, the wall switch is the same as all the rest. This is the square outlet that we just got. It's the same as any of the other outlets I've had before. The outlet is on and I think we're going to see this same lag on power. Now this is only running some LEDs, so it's really, really low outlet, really low power. It does have a nightlight function on that, which you can toggle, which is pretty cool. That's a new feature in the new ones. And then I have a schedule on here that every day in the evening, these lights come on and turn off again at 1.30 in the morning. This is just a decoration in my lounge area. So pretty cool. Not much to it. You can just toggle the functions on and off and it's working. I should say, I did have an outage on the server for this for a few days a little while back and this is why I do long term reviews on projects. I don't know what it was but it wasn't on my end. The two new devices didn't work but my old studio lights which is I think might even be running on a different back end was still working fine so it was very strange I haven't been able to reproduce it. I don't consider it a blocker other than be warned any of these IoT devices rely on a back end that you don't own. We don't we don't own it unless you go to your own like a Tasmoda and reflash and stuff and run it yourself. So these are the chances you take with some of this IoT stuff, but we can toggle stuff on and off from anywhere in the world and it works just fine. It works with the Alexa just fine. Alexa, turn on studio lights. And we should see a change of state in the app. We might, I've never tried this before. We might have to, do we have to go back to home? What happens if we click on studio lights? Ah, it shows that they're on. So the da main dashboard doesn't refresh on its own. 
at least not quickly if you're running it from another source but the alexa integration works fantastic i'm quite happy with it i highly recommend these products they're they're quite cheap i don't know what the long-term services are going to be like but for right now i love having this if you like what I do, click a thumbs up down below. Maybe join me on Patreon. I'll see you guys next video. Cheers.